Electromyographic and Strain Analysis of Activation Patterns of the Wrist Flexors Muscles after Acupuncture. Hello, my name is João Eduardo de Araújo. I am a physical therapist and acupuncturist and professor of physical therapy at the University of Sao Paulo. In my laboratory, we study neuropsychobiology and motor behavior. We use surface electromyography and strand cells to investigate the effects of acupuncture treatment on the muscle skeletal system. We know from the physiological point of view that acupuncture can interfere with the process of afferent signals at the peripheric and central levels. Another important aspect to consider in order to understand the acupuncture effects is the qi conduction through the acupuncture meridians. Our studies are directed to the test the effects of specific points of acupuncture on the electrical activations on the strand of the muscles. We investigation the local, distant and contralateral effects on the stimulated muscles. The local and distant effects can be correlated to the neurophysiological levels, while the contralateral effects can be analyzed in terms of the energetic correlations due to the fact that the meridians have a bilateral representation in our bodies. Clinical and experimental studies based on the modern scientific model have demonstrated the efficacy of acupuncture in various biological systems. Neurochemical, histological and neurophysiological studies have attempted to elucidate the action mechanisms of acupuncture. A few studies have indicated favorable results of acupuncture. Treatment of facial paralysis, tension headaches, rotator cuff tendinitis, and improvement of motor response after stroke. Electromyography. In general, the studies that have investigated the effects of acupuncture on the muscular system have used electromyography. This technique enables the identification and description on the function of motor units in terms of muscles activation and the amplitude and frequency of electrical activation. Purpose of study Our study aimed to investigate the patterns of activation and the strain of the wrist flexors muscles following stimulation of the acupuncture points. 52 volunteers were randomly allocated in four groups. The groups are composed by needle insertion and stimulation. Heart 3 is a local group. Heart 4 is a distant group. Bladder 60 is a control group. Naive control group is composed by volunteers not stimulated by needle insertion. For the evaluation of the results, we use surface electromyography in lowered cells. Electromyography electrodes were placed on the muscle's belly wrist flexors. The volunteers' hands were connected to the force transducer, enabling the analysis of the muscle's activation and forces during maximum isometric contraction on the flexion of the wrist. Our results show effects to distant group. The results for ipsilateral stimulation, we found a reduction in the key GF values at 20 minutes and 10 minutes after withdrawal of the acupuncture needle when compared to before. In the arm contralateral to insertion of the needle, a decrease in root mean square values 20 minutes after withdrawal of the acupuncture needle when compared to the evaluation before the needle was inserted. Still, we observed a reduction of the key GF values at 20 minutes and 10 minutes after withdrawal of the acupuncture needle when compared to before. Discussion and conclusion. The present study showed that the stimulation of acupuncture points distant to motor point of the wrist flexors was able to reduce the ipsy and contralateral muscles strain and also decrease 
the root mean square value is contra lateral to the stimulated point. In our previous work, we showed that stimulation of display 9 acupuncture point, which is adjacent to the motor point of the tibialis anterior muscles, is able to reduce ipsilateral rot mean square values without interfering with the generation of muscles force. Thus, our data is consistent with previous published data and it also provides new information that might help clarify the somatic and energy mechanisms underlying this phenomenon. As shown previously, the reduction in strain ipsilateral to the stimulated point may be related to reductions in muscle fiber recruitment due to interference in the proprioceptive feedback that prevents the recruitment of new fibers through the spinal reflex arc. This study also provides the novel findings that this strain reduction is also present in the contralateral wrist flexors. Motor behavior is generated by hierarchy of circuit modulus composed of interneurons in the spinal cord, sensor feedback loops, and bilateral communication with supraspinal centers. Thus, the effects of acupuncture can be related to the stimulation of one specific peripheral nerve located at the acupuncture point, because the motor and sensory nerves arise from the spinal cord in a segmental fashion to form superimposing patterns of innervations of the muscles and the skin. Such patterns could provide a somatic explanation for our findings. Another possible explanation for our findings is related to the energy perspective. The, this perspective provides evidence that the effect is generated in contralateral acupuncture meridian. In this sense, contralateral acupuncture meridian is one possibility to treat pathological disorders.